Look at that first shot. You can actually see Dude, the difference. Dude, that's insane. You see the whole thing. It looks like, it looks big. Dude, we're supposed to do this road trip. Yeah. Oh, this just is getting intense. We're driving through the middle of the rainbow now. Oh, wow, this this no. scene looks like... I don't like think I've ever seen a perfect U, bro. No, that's what I mean. It's full rainbow. You never see them. It looks like some out of a movie. Yo, somehow, I don't know how, but we have... Pum We've been put back on track with the rainbows and literally we are driving right through them this time. Can you see a little green Irish man on the road? Don't hit him. <laughs> no, hit him. <laughs> Take his pot of gold up. Wait a minute, where, where, is, where is Patrick? Oh, I, took, I took Patrick out of the car. Yeah. The mascot from the last uh, Irish road trip. Yeah, we got two rainbows, that only means one thing. Look at the Irish. Look at the Irish. Boys, we're going to drop it. We're gonna I'm drop dropping 10 to 20 pounds on Lucky Irish. We're oh, gonna win. Oh, We're gonna drop 50 pounds. No, I'm gonna drop 500 out of the bandits. <laughs> I'm taking. I'm taking jackpot. Shit. I seen a double rainbow. I'm taking jackpot without I a seen, doubt. I actually seen you win. Petrol station. Uh, it's not. That's not. It's just a normal petrol station. Oh, services on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we need a proper service station. Yeah. Let's yeah. just let's just hold it out until we get to a proper one. Some big money today. Whoa, whoa, whoa you already won something. Oh. My boy's already at five pounds. Wait, wait, where is it? Wait, no, go in there. I need to win too. Is that good? Oh, diamonds. Oh, oh you won though. You won again. Dude, it's the, it's the freaking double rainbow, man. It's the double rainbow. Let's go. Okay, boys. Big dollars here. Oh, he's always got some. He's wants some good money. He's in like. He ain't stopping. Oh, that's. Oh, you might have to stop there and go another one. Um, I'll, I'll you, you, just, you just won, right? Uh, I, don't I, I don't know. I lost, I man. I lost 10. That's why I said put 20 in. You think I should go yeah. all the way? You're I right. I picked 20. this one. I have to do it. Alright, uh, come on. 20. Yeah. No one's winning big. I lost it all. I, I, started, it all. I started with seven, I got up to 20, and I lost it all. Come on! <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> what? We saw a double rainbow outside. What the rainbow. Bro, we all lost. Maybe all so. lost. All lost. It doesn't make sense. It's just, we're not lucky. Double rainbow. Nah, someone, yo. This isn't your dad's ferry. Yo, boys, we are finally boarding the ferry. This thing is massive. Whoa! Look how clean it is compared to the one for Ireland. Yo, it starts here. <coughs> following the Scooby Doo van. <laughs> Where we are going up. Oh, yes. This is, big. This is, this is big. This is smart, this one. So we have just, we've just made it in France at our hotel. It's 3 a.m. You know how we're doing it. We don't stop. We're gonna get sleep for about four. We're gonna be up at eight. We're gonna be driving from nine after we've had breakfast. And we're doing it again. We're going through Belgium tomorrow. Hopefully we'll make it halfway through Germany. And then the next day, rest of Germany, Austria, and then into Romania. <coughs> Oh, this. Then we've got, oh, you've got hot water down there, we can have pot noodles. I know, I might, I might have to get it. Whoa, French sweets. Oh, you do hot drinks. You sell Kit Kats? Kinder Buenos, it's just like the UK. So many of them. Oh, well, the lister is a small zone in the UK. It's time to cram in, boys. Well, let's do it, boys. For the... For the views. Which floor? Two. Got it. 
man. Yep. Yo, are you guys tired yet? No. Me either. Why? <laughs> Why are we even getting a whole tub from tired? Okay. Oh, we want to see the scenery nah. tomorrow. Well, to be fair, think about it. If we didn't get this hotel, you got, we would have been dead zombies exactly. the whole other day. And, like, it's not worth it. For only what? 15 pounds or something 15 each? 15 pounds each. It's worth the sleep, I think, for the price. I'm trying to wake everyone. Laundry. Hey, laundry. What do you laundry? I need it. That's it. Everyone, everyone's really coming in our room tonight now. Everyone knows the pin number. You ready? Oh, that's some good French room. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're better than oh, I'm in top bunk. Top bunk. <laughs> oh, you, you, do you want to show? Can I not? Yeah, but I can show. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Really. Okay, okay, this is better than no, okay. Screw travel lodge. Screw the travel lodgers. This is better. Do we even have a boat? Look at our view. Show them the view. Yo. We're showing on the peach right now, boys. So right now it's the next day. Uh, we got up this morning a little bit late and I didn't have time to do any vlogging. We literally jumped in the car and drove out of France into Belgium. Right now we are driving uh, through the Belgian countryside. We're driving about two hours now and one thing I found really strange, they all drive on the wrong side of the road. I mean, what the hell is with that? And everyone seems to be driving like maniacs. I mean, I thought that the UK, we drove like maniacs, but the guys on these roads are swerving in and out constantly. Like when you change lane, you know they're staying at lane, they're changing lanes every like second. So I'm gonna have to get used to that a little bit. But right now we are traveling for 10 hours straight. Well, actually it's gonna be close to 12, uh, but right now we've got 10 hours left. And that's gonna take us to Austria. And then after that, we have another 10 hours to travel to Romania. And then we've probably got another two days worth of non-stop traveling throughout Romania. Obviously, we're gonna stop in at abandoned buildings, but it's gonna be so much traveling on this trip. I think I'm gonna sit driving out for about a month after this. Oh, that's not. See, that's so low, that's a death trap. So right now the situation is we've been driving all day. I'm not even kidding. How long have we been driving for? I don't know. Since all day. we set off about 12 o'clock. What time is it now? Almost. It's 12 o'clock. We've been driving for like 12 hours straight, right? A couple of stops, that's it. And it was like, right, you know what? We're gonna get to towards the Austrian border. It's off one actually. What? 13 hours. Oh it's yeah, we're, we're an hour ahead. We was gonna get to the Austrian border and sleep in a hotel can't find one so now we are driving another nearly nine hours to Romania straight dude 12 what I don't know I thought it was no it's no, nine hours nine. it's like oh, eight no it's 12 to Romania <laughs> oh middle of Romania. to Transvania right Trans yeah it's Trans eight hours Transylvania eight hours and 39 minutes <laughs> dude <laughs> Transylvania right? yeah Transylvania we're not even going to Transylvania. I don't I don't think I'll be able to get there. No, not this on this, right? Well I thought it's on this time, Josh. Oh, to go where? Brown's Castle. What? Yeah, we're not gonna make it on this trip. I gotta get some vampire <laughs> wine! <laughs> so right now we've been through Austria. We are now in Hungary and the sun is coming up in the distance. We are 400 kilometers from Romania, four hours away. We should be there for about 10 a.m. roughly. Yeah, where we did. It's, oh, it's two hours in front. So by the time we get there, it's gonna be about a day. No, it's still only an hour. An hour. I know, but when we get to Romania, we'll be two hours in front. Yeah, when we get there, yeah, we will be, yeah. So it'll probably be about midday. 20 to 12. 20 to 12.
So I've literally spent the full day in Romania. I haven't even picked up the camera yet. We have been so tired after driving like 27 hours straight, like for 10 minute stops here and there. It was just so, I mean, you can tell in my voice, I feel physically ill. So I suggest never ever doing that. But I spent the full day here. Didn't want to pick up the camera. I wanted to chill out, relax, get to know our surroundings before I picked up the camera. And I just want to say, food and drink here is so cheap. We have a pizzeria downstairs. Our hotel is so nice. It literally costs us 56 euros when we booked it, when we was like in Germany or somewhere. I don't even know where it was. And it's so nice. Like we've got five beds. We, it was like, it's like a penthouse. I'll show you around after. We've been to the supermarket and for a bottle of water, like this bottle of water, we're talking like 40p. 40 pence for a bottle of water. Like a, uh, a smoothie drink I'm gonna have in the morning, £1.50. Bottles of glass, glass bottles of Coke. Now we got, me and Buggy got six each. Like for six glass bottles, it was like £2. Absolutely real. I picked this up because I thought, I've never seen it before. Pepsi Cola, and I remember in the 40s, this was a thing, Pepsi Cola, that's what it was called. But it turns out this is a 1940s limited edition can. It's just Pepsi, but it is Romanian. And that was like, uh, 40 pence as well. These really nice looking fruit juice drinks, these were like 60p, 50, 60p each. So things here are really cheap. Our pizza downstairs, I had a pizza, I mean, not even like a crappy pizza, this was a proper, a, like Italian style pizza with a beer, five pounds. You can't complain. So tomorrow the adventure really does start. We're gonna set off to an abandoned village resort. Now this place is set to be abandoned for a long time. It was apparently where Hercules set down for the first time on planet Earth. So they actually named it after him. Holy shit, what was that? Someone just dropped like a whole floor. It sounded like a bomb went off. <laughs> Someone dropped a whole... No, no bombs are going off outside. Oh wait, you can get a better look at that. You know what I always wondered? If like in the movies, if you jumped onto one of these things, if you would survive. <laughs> you just look like you jumped down there like in the ladder. Come on, Claudia, I'll film. <laughs> so, we think this is some kind of plane hangar. And we're going to go and check it out in the morning, but we think it's abandoned. So this is where Hercules sat down on planet Earth for the first time and they named it after him and there's a massive statue there too. I can hear that bang again again. But it was like, it, this this was crashed. Oh, it's them downstairs. It was. was. What, is there people living down there? No, it's people renting down oh. They couldn't afford to sustain the place so it all became abandoned and now it's kind of like a tourism place for abandoned. Like people go to see all these buildings that are not used. But obviously, we're gonna take a deeper look into these buildings and we're gonna go inside. Where we're staying tonight, this is, uh, I mean, this is so clean, this is really nice. And this was, like I said, worked out like 40 pounds, 45 pounds, and we've got aircon as well. So it's the morning after now. We've all woke up. Uh, thanks to Bucky, everyone has a cold. Josh has the flu. Like, he yeah. had demonic snores last night. He's that ill. Yeah, so what happened was, you know, I my nose is stuffed. I'm facing my back, and I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> Louder than that. Yeah, wait Bro, up. but it was deep. It was like... <laughs> I couldn't breathe, so that, that was it. But it was the best sleep I've had since I've been on this trip, a proper eight hours. I've been sleeping four hours or five hours every night. Time zones are really hard for me to adjust to. I'm so glad I'm you slept now. well. I slept well. Uh, what about anyone else No, though? no one else you know, did. I like there was a fucking demon next to me. <laughs> All night, just <sighs> <laughs> So today we are after somewhere called Salida Turtles. It's like, um, it's a massive underground mine. It's been mined for like a thousand years and it got turned into a theme park. I'm gonna drop some more history after. This is 
is actually all salt and it's quite cool. Actually comes off. Yeah, this is quite common practice to actually lick the walls. Uh, I'm gonna avoid licking the walls today. No, oh, we're okay. so we are in oh. Romania, so I just want to let that out because the people it's who really just found this video, we've been on a series walk and I feel like we're in a little salt. Oh wow. It's actually growing on it. It's crystallizing on the side of the wood. It's attached itself to it, hasn't it? So if you are new to the channel, my name is Dan. I am exploring with fires and this is the underground theme park. So what does that lead to? Dude, I have no idea. This is just a big maze. Should we go down there? You think that's bathroom Look at that. It's all salt growing on it. Lick it. No. <laughs> Yo, watch out because these stairs. It's all salt. Let's go deeper underground. Oh. Wow, I can see the theme park. Dude, there's a freaking elevator on this side. Oh my god! Dude! Yeah! I think this is where the Ferris wheel is. This is insane! I never seen anything like this. Like, like some. So yeah, so it's like a secret government lab. How old this is? It's just all covered in salt. Dude, coming to Romania for this is just perfect. Praise the salt god. Yeah, salt god's here. So this was actually nicknamed Romania's Area 51. Just as how secret it was when they were first building it. Didn't want anyone to know. I mean, the mine was here for a thousand years. But when they were building this underground theme park attraction, they kept it so secret. A lot of the people thought this was the Area 51 of Romania. So, if you are new to the channel, my name is Dan, and I am exploring with fighters. I travel around the world, documenting, filming, exploring, adventuring all the best places I can find. Abandoned, haunted, secret, whatever it is. If it spikes interest in the imagination, and, uh, and if this is also the first video you've seen of mine, I'm currently on a road trip. I've road tripped from UK through France, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Hungary, into Romania. And we're currently doing two weeks in Romania, exploring all the craziest secret, haunted and abandoned locations they have. When this was an active salt mine, this was actually a one of a kind. This was uh, basically an extractor. This is to take salt and take it out of the mine. And apparently, it's the only one left in Romania. Apparently, Europe. Amazing, it's still standing. I mean, look at the state. It looks like it's just been propped up with bits of wood by just random people, but this is actually a sophisticated machine, believe it or not. This is one of the old mine carts that used to ship the massive rocks of salt out. Lost, I don't even know where to go. I don't know where to go either. There's like, everywhere you go, there's like three other rooms. Within another room, there's another room. So you can only imagine how big it is. And if you didn't already know, I'm currently road tripping with Exploring with Josh, Exploring with Cody, and Exploring with Bucky. Everyone is making their own videos, different takes on this place. We're probably going to split up at one point and cover different areas. So make sure you go and check out everyone else's videos. Uh, some kind of tunnel. Probably went down to lower mines. Right now we're entering something called the echo chamber. No idea what it is. Oh. Oh. Doesn't really echo. <laughs> no, it does. Try again. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's the echo chamber? You guys ever see the Grinch? Yeah. You're an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe! Like! Comment! Yo, it's so slippy in here. I don't know how Cody and Josh are managing in them tra uh, trainers. But me and Bucky, we are repping the shoes that... Um, we are repping the shoes that Polly Mill gave us. I'm repping 511. And Bucky's got some Viper ones on. I'll drop a link in the description below. No, it's really blue down here. Watch out. We're going straight down. Oh my god. It's gonna come and slide off the stairs. 
Oh, this is a cool view. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking at, but I want to see. Let me see what we're looking at. I'll see these on. Look at them wearing these shoes. It's so high. No wonder the people of Romania thought there was some kind of Area 51 going on down here. Look at all them stairs they've got to walk down. Holy crap! So Bucky's really struggling here because it, I've got to admit it is very, very weird being on these. It's literally just sleepers as you can see and just planks of wood. But these wood, feels, it feels really old. You can see through it, yeah. It's just a, it's just like a 400, 400 foot drop. I know it's super thin. I know, I know, Bucky. I'm surprised you even made it here. If you're walking, if you look on the other side, that's what we're walking on. Just wood, but it's like pretty thin. Yeah, hey, you best off standing towards the wall. Standing where there's beams. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bounce on it or bang. <laughs> <laughs> the evil laugh of Josh. <laughs> yeah, I only got like uh, five hours sleep last night because Josh was snoring, literally like a demon. It sounded like someone was trying to crawl out of him. Oh wow, this feels weird. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is a tragedy right now. Look, there's a big Ferris wheel down there. How are you finding it? Horrible. I'm not enjoying it one bit. Are <laughs> you not? Nope. Wait till we get on the floor, you will. I that goes. What are these holes? What are them holes? Oh, is that, is it? Oh, you'd, have thought that, you'd have thought that all the water, like the moisture and the salt rotted would have it. rotted it, yeah. Well, maybe it helps preserve it. I don't know. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Would it preserve it or rot it? I mean, because all this wall is literally dirty. It's wet and well. dirty. I mean, look at this. It's so dirty and wet. So we've walked down this rickety pathway here. It is really, really scary in fact. Bucky, Bucky's hit. Bucky's, oh, Bucky's holding on over there. But as you can see, there's, there's rides and stuff going on. There's kids playing down there. There's, there's an amphitheater, there's rides. And there's a deeper part over there. It's just, it's never ending. And it's amazing how it's perfectly cut as well. Yeah, that's me camera. You don't want to lean over. I think that's a better picture. <laughs> he got in the Yeah, it doesn't help. Every time someone steps on these boards, they all flex and move. Yeah, I know. And as you can see, if you fall through one, you're probably going to go through them all. So we're going to try and get a bit further down. It's a long way down, guys. A long way down. You ready, Josh? Born. To make the descent? Born ready, bro. Let's go. Down the stairs. Came right from the top of there. And now we're here at the bottom. Well, no, it's not even the bottom. There's still a part down there. I can see the goes even further, deeper, underground. Oh wow, look at the size of this ferris wheel. I've never been a fan of ferris wheels, especially rusty salty ones. Should I get on it? Leave a comment below, should I get on the ferris wheel? I don't know, I'm not sure. Just look at this place. It is, it's just absolutely amazing. I can just stand looking at the ceiling and the roof and the atmosphere around for hours. I believe there's actually boats, there's people rowing in boats down there. Leave a comment below, should we go on a boat? Yeah, I think so too. I'm definitely going to go on one of them boats. That looks so fun. Yo Josh, we've got to go on a boat. Yo, we should do a boat. Oh, it's gonna, you know what it's gonna bring back? What? Car cave vibes. Yeah, you're right. Memories are floating around the car cave. 
not quite as toxic as the uh, the car cave. That was quite the trip, huh? Unreal. That was that was something. Yeah. Fifteen lee per boat. Got pushed in front of. For some reason in Romania, I don't know what it is. Is it customary? People just really push in front of you, um, whether they're in cars or queues. Like blatantly, the woman just pushed in front of Josh and Cody and stood there and looked like we was in the wrong. It's just really strange. I don't know. If, let me know in the comments below if you're from Romania and this is common practice. Oh, Bucky. Get him rolling. <laughs> There's no room to actually roll. Do you not know how to roll? I'm rolling on, aren't I? Row, row, row a boat. Yeah, the woman in front of Josh and, and Cody pushed in front and then as soon as we left, the guy and the kid just dived in front of it. It was quite funny, actually. Like, they try anything to try anything to push in front of. What do you think? I think they do. Yeah, it's weird, You've done it? it a lot, though, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know if it's because we're tourists or what, but I'm, I'm to the point now, I don't let them pass at all. Go under the bridge, Bucky. Come on, get rolling. Hold on, I can't go yet. Go on. See, I can't because I licked her with that. Go on. Get going. I'll be soft. Do you want to roll? Yeah. I was a champion on the rowing machines in the gym, you know. I knelt to these. Oh, we'll see. I can use them we'll rowing machines a, in the gym. We'll be like a power boat, Bucky. I a can power use power boat. I can. Next time. Oh shit, you've just crashed us. What are you doing, Bucky? I didn't crash us. I was pushing off. I the ball. Wow. You ready, guys? Because there's nothing to do with like this. Is it not? Nope. It's ready. There we go. There we go. You don't even your head. I don't care. <laughs> That's not what Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> it didn't even come out. He's going to lose the oar. Uh oh. He's going to lose the oar. Oh, he's not in. Yeah. I'm just too powerful for it, that's what it is. Too powerful for it, you're you going to spin us around, are you ready? I say you spin around, Bucky. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Right, guide me. You ready? Guide you, you're going to... <laughs> you know you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're only supposed to put the oars in a little bit. You're splashing everywhere, Dan, because you're putting them in too deep. We're going faster. You're going to hit the walk thingy if you don't slow down. <laughs> right, come on, you're getting silly now. I'm not getting silly. You are. You're nearly losing the oars. Oh, there's Josh and Cody. Right, wait here for him. Hold on, hold on, don't spin around too quick. I'm going to, uh, there's Josh and Cody over there. Right, let's, I'm going to try and get us over there. I'm going to go backwards, you ready? Oh. <laughs> 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 no, we're going to hit this rock. Oh, oh. Oh. That's the problem when it catches on that. Yeah, I know. Slowly does it. We're off. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you hit the wall then, Josh. We, we just... Alright, what's happened, man? We just hit some impact. So I find it's a bit more difficult than I imagined. Everyone's crashing into each other. I don't know what Josh is doing. Take a look at Josh. What is he doing? He looks, he looks like... Oh, I heard that echo then, did you? Yep. Don't be making a cave in, Dan. Remember, no shouting in caves. Like you always say. This one seems more it, safe though. It, it might be salt, but... You never know. Hold on. It's like a rowing race. You're splashing everyone. You're covering everyone in salt. Well, my... Uh, I thought we'd go around on uh, like a motorboat, but... It seems like these, uh, this technology isn't quite capable of handling my strength at uh, this current time. Hopefully they upgrade the system so that people like me can get around here a lot faster. I still think he's better than rowing. No, I don't think I'm better than anyone. I just don't want to be smashed full of water like Dan's doing. Bucky doesn't get sarcasm either. He, he seems to think I was being serious about me being the strongest man on the planet no, rowing. about how strong you think you are. Uh, who won? Who won on the punching machine? You did. Exactly. 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 That doesn't mean. 
water so we are going to start making our way back to the docking station we've been taking some epic photos make sure you check out instagram.com slash exploring me fires and instagram.com slash exploring me bucky guys watch i always document my first little experiments and i always get scared every time and these one actually they shake hard whoa let's just keep it chill yeah whoa. Just keep it chill just keep it chill boys let's just enjoy our salt mine ferris wheeler uh Ferris wheel of death. Yeah, Ferris wheel of death. <sighs> Just sit back and relax as we go into the sky. Bucky couldn't do it. He ran off. He ran back out to the top. In fact, he wanted to get on them stairs before we do. Because he said the less the weight, the less chance of us collapsing. I suppose Bucky might live longer with that kind of uh, thoughts, but... There's a good picture for you, though. Up there. Oh, bro, don't do that. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, stop. Okay. You want to go for me? Oh. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this yeah, one Yeah, I don't like this anymore. I want to get down. I just forgot that it stops, and when it stops suddenly, the thing just spins. Oh, man, okay. I'm... All right, you got it, bro. Okay, oh! slow, slowly, slowly, Josh. Okay. Oh, my God. Slowly. We're not even that high. I don't care, we're rocking. Yeah, it still shakes around, man. I hate heights, you know that. Well, we are right at the top. I don't like this, Josh. I don't like it one oh, bit either, either, man. I don't. Oh! Oh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are right at the top right now. Right. Don't move, Cody. It has now stopped at, it has now stopped directly at the top. I mean, the, the biggest problem is Cody. Cody is such a big guy. The slightest movement he makes, it shakes the whole thing. Cody. Cody, don't. Stop move. flexing, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> no! Like, no! Well, the Romania road trip is almost over. We've got one episode after this, and then it's back to the UK. But don't forget, I didn't even do anything in the UK when I got home. I went straight to Ireland, so we still got another Ireland series ready. And then, I think. We're going to France in January 2019. That is right, I am finally doing the Paris Catacombs. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. People actually live down there and they hate tourists. They hate people going down there with cameras and filming. People have been robbed down there. So yeah, I have no idea how it's gonna be, but we're gonna do it. 2018 has been such a special year for me. I've had some amazing times, made some amazing memories. But 2019 is going to be on another level. But towards the end of December, I'm going to be putting out some special episodes. Uh, one of them, I managed to find a video, and I'm talking a video tape, not a, not a CD, not a, a memory card, not a file. It was a video tape of me exploring a place called Whittingham Hospital back in 2005. It's such a terrible video, a terrible explore, but it's there. And I'm gonna make a special episode on that. And I'm also gonna compile some kind of complimation episode that shows all the best bits from 2018. Oh, and one last thing. If you wanna see me explore anywhere, country, place, anything at all, leave a comment below right now. Tell me where you would like to see me go. Again, there's another, it's just a noise, the hell out of me. People cutting in the line, we're waiting for an elevator and the family just cuts in and it's like no one says anything to him. And I don't want to say anything to him because I'm in a foreign country, but you wouldn't get that in the UK. So right now we are leaving, it's done. It's been exhausting. The amount of steps we have to walk up and down, the heights we've had to deal with, the rides we've had to conquer, but we did it. And that was such a fun place to visit. I highly recommend people coming here. It is a beautiful spot and it's so much fun. Just watch out for those people pushing in line. So definitely make sure you check out everyone else who are exploring with Josh, exploring with Cody, exploring with Bucky. And we are going to the most haunted forest in the world right now. Stay tuned for that. did everything we needed to do in Romania and I'm coming down with a cold everyone else is full of the flu everyone's run down exhausted and we couldn't find a hotel nearby to where we were so what we did is Cody and Josh fly out 
um, just on the edge of Romania, it's like the border. Where are we? What's it called, this place? Uh, I'm not sure. They fly out of Aradia, I think it is. And so it was like, you know what? I said, do you want to just book a hotel for you and Cody? I'll drop you both off now and we'll start making our way home. So that's what we've done. Dropped them off at the hotel. They fly out, uh, not tomorrow, day after at 6 a.m. And it's going to take us exactly one day to drive home. Look at that, one day to drive home. It is going to be exhausting. Even with a cold, it's going to be exhaust, even more exhausting. But me and Bucky are going to take turns. We're going to take five hour shifts of driving just so we don't get too tired uh, and then falling asleep at the wheel. But we're going to try and do it non stop and get home. So guys, excuse the mess in the Q7, obviously we've just done a two week road trip and it's a mess, but uh, you're probably wondering why there's a dog uh, sat right here in front of me. Um, well, Q2 Snapchat. Right, so here's the situation. Um, we've just been driving, we're literally going to get the ferry back into England and this poor little dog has just run out in the road and we've just noticed there's a cage on the floor. Someone's dumped it at the side of the road, I can't leave it. I don't know what to do. I can't leave it here. I can't leave, I can't leave it to die. I don't know, how, how am I supposed to see, sneak it across the border? Follow the lead, the cage on the teddies. Really? Yeah, and the jackets there. What kind of evil f***ing prick would do that? Bucky, we can't leave it. Oh, Look at it, you can't, it's we can't leave it. To be I don't know, we just can't leave it. It's been dumped on it. It's not nice, Look, that. It's, it's crying. Someone's dumped it. So the dog stuff's actually dirt the side of the road. Who would actually just dump a dog like that? Looks like it's been choked. Look, he's just uh, found the collar and stuff. <coughs> Who's dumped you? Hey? I bet you're starving. Do you want to come home with me? Be the exploring dog. I'll take you home. If we can get you across, I'll take you. Tell me, where where have you come from? Where? I mean, you're quite well trained, aren't you? Do you want to come here? Is that what it is? Yeah. You want to come here? thing is absolutely dehydrated. Come here, I'll give you some more. There you go. Oh, who's a happy pooch now? Hey? Oh, wait a minute, you speak French. Oh, great, I've got to learn French. And yeah, this is why I have a dog sat here now. Now, I don't know what we're going to do. I think <laughs> we're going to have to try and hold it. We're going to have to, I don't know, I'm going to have to take it back to the UK because we can't just leave it. it literally it was running out in the tr into traffic it was going to die someone's dumped look dumped its collar dumped its cage they dumped everything and look how tame it is it's just it's a girl obviously she just she's petrified um are you, are you meant to have passports for dogs i'm pretty sure you do i don't know what's gonna happen right now guys i really don't but it would just be unhuman to just leave it at the side of the road to die. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I guess I'm sneaking a dog. I'm saving a dog. I'm not sneaking. I'm saving a dog. So we'll just see what happens. I'll take full responsibility. I'll take the blame. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would agree in this situation. I'm not just going to leave a dog at the side of the road to be killed. Someone, some evil creature has dumped that dog with its belongings, its teddy bears, its cage, its collar, its lead at the side of the road and the thing is that when we found it the cage was upside down and stuff it looks like it's been thrown out of the car absolutely thrown out of the car and when it saw me and Bucky when I leaned over the barrier and I saw it just looking up at me like crying, screaming I knew straight away we was meant to be there Hiya. 
right, so we just got through the first one, we just checked our passports, and that was that. Now I'm not sure what's happening at this one. This one seems to be something different, and I've got hardly any batteries left as well. Yeah. <coughs> oh, my batteries are dead. What? Pulling, mark back, Yep, yeah, go. Thank you. Go, 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 go. go. Um, oh no, this is the UK border. I don't know, but so far so good. Pray for dog. Right now the dog is uh, lying down yeah. next to my feet. We are one away from going through the UK border force. Let's hope and pray they don't search the car and take the dog off us. Because otherwise it probably will just get put down. Am I doing the right thing? I don't even know. I just can't, I just can't leave it there to die. Simple as that. What, I won't allow it to die like that. What do you think, Bucky? No, you can't leave it the side of the road, can you? No. It's, it's been dumped because of the way the cage was upside down and stuff like that. It's, I'm glad you heard it, really. I know, it was <laughs> fate, it really was fate. We pulled over. I just saw a little leg come through the barrier and I it's thought, just, oh, it's a puppy. It's fate, absolute fate. That moment in time, we stopped there. It's just everything boils down to fate. But why has someone just chucked it out and left it there? Because the there's a lot of evil people in the world, Bucky. The evil people. Uh, here goes nothing. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah, tired. A lot of driving. We've come all the way from where that's where you come from. Other side of Romania. Other side of Romania. So a day's driving altogether. <laughs> it's been tiring. Do the eyebrow. Daniel, as soon as you can, you need to sign your passport, okay? Alright, okay. What do you sign? <coughs> I didn't even know you had to sign them. I didn't. Thank, Thank you. you. P.O. Ferries. Yeah, you've got something else. Hello. Afternoon. Good. Are you freezing out, though? Yeah, no, he didn't say anything. Nope. How many times do you have to go through pap? I just want to get on the boat and feed the dog. Say I left um, my child in the car. <laughs> Say you left some medicine that you need to get. Yeah. Your inhaler or something, that's why yeah. you're coughing. I need my inhaler. Well, no, you just said, I've got my inhaler, so I need to get it. Please. Yeah, we're all suffering from the flu. You know, the, the road trip was hard, really hard. Thank you very much. Hundred and three. Thank you very much. Where am I going? Hundred and three. You know, I always think to myself, I'm so glad I carry a camera around. And I, I first started carrying a camera around because the weirdest things always seem to happen to me, and they do. They always happen to me. 
doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing, something happens. Why always me? I mean, I, yeah, I'm glad I saved the dog, but look at that poor little thing flying down. Sorry, it's a bit muddy down there for the road trip. We got a lot of Transylvanian mud down there. Guess who just got to the UK? I didn't get pulled in customs. <laughs> Looks like we got a new pet dog. Yeah, we got to take the, it's the exploring dog. We got to take it to the vets. Make sure it's not chipped. Make sure it doesn't belong to someone. It's not been stolen or anything like that. If it hasn't been chipped, get it defleed. Get it. Get it all sorted out. And yeah. She's gonna stay with me. Leave a comment below. What should we call her? I mean, there was no name on anything. I feel like... <coughs> something that resembles fate. I'm not sure. Leave a comment below. What should, what should we call her? What? <coughs> hey? You want to move home? My side? You're happy. Come on then. Yep. Come on. Look now. Should we go outside? Oh, come on then. She can't get across. Come on then. She's too short. <laughs> come on then. <laughs> oh, come here. Hey, come here. Oh, oh, oh. She just wants. Oh, she wants. Cuddles. She wants cuddles and attention. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it's a demon dog. <laughs> Told you. Not all of them girl dogs. dogs like peeing on grass. Not all girl dogs. <coughs> Bucky seems to think dogs will just pee anywhere, but I told him female dogs like to pee on grass. Male dogs will just cut a leg on anything. You don't even like walking on the grass. What? She don't even like walking on the grass. She tried going straight to the park. Where you going? Where you going? Hey, where you going? Ow, ow. <laughs> Not like noise. Hey. <coughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, okay, okay. Come here. Come here, man. Oh. 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 <laughs> Bucky, right. I think she likes you more. Does it? Bucky, you have to take her home. She's got no chance. <laughs> Bucky, you rescued dogs. her. I've already got two dogs. What? You rescued her. I didn't rescue her, you did. Yeah, you climbed over the fence and picked her up. <coughs> and said we'll take her through customs. Yay, I was not on the seat. Get down. No, get down, go on. Oh, here you go. Your seat is on the floor. Your seat is on the floor. Huh? Is that on or is that? I actually called her Autumn because of the colour of her and I found her in Autumn but my mum has just told the vet it's Molly so it makes me think that my mum's going to steal the dog off me now. Autumn! Autumn! What are you doing? It's not a normal one. Now most of us begin with a four but... Oh, right. Where have you come from? Where have you come from? Hey? What is it? Hey, what is it? Right, so she's got a chip. We think it's a foreign chip because it's coming through as an unknown number to them. They don't know what it is, so yeah, we kind of knew it was going to be a foreign chip. But we'll just see what happens now. You want to come home with me, don't you? Yeah, you do. You've been enjoying it at my house. Hey? The exploring dog. The exploring pup. We just checked the uh, UK and European database on the chips and it is unrecognisable. So she's going to do some digging tomorrow and find out if you can be mine. Database. 
but the thing is, if she'd been, if she'd been um, recorded that she'd been stolen or lost, then it would come up on the European database. Yeah, but all right. So if it's not coming on the European database, it could be further afield. Ones if it's an American family. Holy crap! Look at that face. I mean, just look at it. How could anyone abandon a face like that? I just don't, I don't understand. I'm still baffled by it right now. I mean, people who abandon pets, dogs, any animal are just heartless in my opinion. You, you've got to have no heart at all to leave this side of the road to die. But right now, she's never been happier. I've given her a loving home, plenty of attention, and she's got Christmas to look forward to. I've already been buying her presents. And you know what? I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been sending gifts for her through my P.O. box. Um, I need to do a video on everyone who sent it. But people have been sending her dog treats and jackets and hats. All kinds of crazy stuff. It's just, it's been overwhelming, I've got to say. Um, it's, it's really been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, but I'm so happy that I made the choice that I did. And you know what? I would not change it if I could because... Um, she's like my best friend now, you know, it's it's just, you know it's fate. When something like that happens, it's just fate. And you just, you just gotta ride the train. And you know what, she's not even the same dog that I found on that horrible night. She is a completely different dog. She's so happy, and I can already tell she's looking forward to her future. Why are you being so camera shy? What are you doing? Come around here and get in front. I want to get a good video of you in front of the Christmas tree. Come there you go right come on come on so it's been six weeks now since i got the dog since i rescued her and she's completely settled in at home now she's part of the family she's legally registered in my name she actually had a chip uh, but they couldn't pull any data off it at all uh, they say it was a foreign chip obviously but there was it was never registered so she was probably chipped as a puppy and never registered so now she's legally in my name but we have a problem I had uh, the council at the door. Now, uh, they found out that I snuck the dog back. They are making inquiries at the moment on whether they need to quarantine her. Um, so I, I, I kind of need some advice. I don't really know what to do. Do I let her go into quarantine? She's she's not got any anything at all. She's been to the vets. She's started her injections now. Um, they The concern they had was rabies, but she's not got rabies. Uh, rabies, you can have you know physical signs of rabies, so uh, I'm quite confident she doesn't have rabies. Hey, you're getting brave. But the cat, the cat, my cat thinks it's human and hates other animals, she hates the dog, but she's getting quite, she's kind of getting brave, especially when I'm cuddling up with the dog, she gets a bit jealous. So I'll just keep everyone informed on what happens, uh, but at the moment, She's enjoying life, like she should be. What are you doing, Fudge? What are you, are you being naughty? Fudge, look at me. Look, look at me. Are you being naughty and weed on the carpet? Yeah, you did.